video and this is basically for my beginners out there that really want to know how to slay their faces you know you're really just getting started with the whole makeup thing you just want to know how to apply your makeup nicely um and i'm going to just be focusing on the products i'm using how to apply it, all that good stuff you know from brushes to the makeup all that so let's get started now this is how I do my makeup makeup and I'm just showing you guys in the simplest form that I feel like I can as I said I'm gonna start off with my brows that's how I do my makeup on a daily basis I start off with my eyebrows no I will not include the eyebrow portion in this tutorial just because I have a very super detailed um, easy eyebrow tutorial now if you guys are interested in that it's down below and I'll link it here on the screen right here go ahead check it out that's where you can see that tutorial so if you do not have any clue of how to fill in your eyebrows or get them really snatched this video this tutorial right here will help you out in that aspect okay so I'm gonna go ahead do my brows off camera get right back to you guys in like literally a second the first thing you want to always make sure to do is prime. The primer, what it helps to do is help the makeup to stay on. The primer I'm going to go in with today is my Amazing Cosmetics Primer. The next step is to actually go ahead and highlight for me. I go straight into highlighting now. If you're a person that wears foundation, the only thing you do before that is applying your foundation. Now, let's get into the brushes that I'm using today. So I featured um, pro a product here from this company before and it's Vanity Planet. I use their, I use their um, Vanity Skin Spa and which I absolutely love. It gets those brushes, the brush heads, they get really deep down in your pores and it really gets your skin really clean and I absolutely love that so this is the vanity planet um makeup brush set and it has 15 different beauty brushes and they're made with premium synthetic bristles so this is the packaging i find it to be very convenient you know it's easy to open up and all that good stuff it's 15 different um brushes that come in there i have a coupon code for you guys su 70 if you're interested in getting this brush set for yourself it's originally $100, but if you use my um, discount code, you get 70% off, so you only get the brush set for $30. By the way, I, I forgot to mention to you guys, these brushes, they're cruelty-free, so that's really good. Um, that's a really good thing for me, so yeah. I'm going to go ahead and apply my concealer. So since this is beginner, this is beginner-friendly, I'm only going to be using one concealer. From the other day, I've been using like mixing up two so I can bump on my highlight, you know, but we don't need to do that today, okay? So I'm going to be using my LA Girl Pro Concealer and this is in this is in the shade Toffee. I'm going to highlight beneath my eyes, uh, my cupid's bow, the bridge of my nose, a bit of my chin and the center of my forehead. I'm going to take this flat top stippling brush to blend out my concealer. Do not rub it in or brush it down or anything. You just, you know, push it into your skin. And I'm just going to do the same thing to the next side. Pinch 
my brush because it's not that dense. I'm actually going to pinch it to blend out my nose highlight. So now we're going to move on and I'm just going to start using powders to set this. So what I use to set my highlight is highlighted portion, my Sasha Buttercup powder. Now I'm going to be taking like my powder slash blush brush. to the rest of my face so all this can match me better okay so that's how I actually balance out my makeup so what I also use a lot is my Milani compact makeup and this is in the shade warm I'm going with a kabuki brush and this is how it comes Or you might not because you might just want a simple beat but there might be beginners out there that want to know how to contour now if you need a detailed highlighted and contour routine I have one of those it's very detailed I'll list it down below I'm gonna be taking my angled brush which is perfect for contouring I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit for this and I'm gonna go in with this shade here contour my nose I'm not gonna use the same powder just because it would make my nose come off too harsh I say to go in with a lighter powder no I'm not necessarily going with it going in with a contour powder I'm actually going to use a um, my, my face powder the reason for that is because in here if you notice I have lighter shades going on so once I put in my correct shade here on the sides of my nose it will actually give it some definition but it won't be too hard this is the medium blender brush it's like a, as you can see it's smaller I'm gonna move on to baking to bake I'm gonna take the same Sasha powder and the powder brush I used previously So I'm going to move on to the eyes now. Today we're going for a nice warm subtle eye look. I'm going back in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I'm going to use the shade I used to contour on my cheeks in the transition area. The transition area is right here. You know the crease portion you see when you open your eyes you can see that natural crease at your eye so that's where you usually apply your transition color powder. Now what your transition, what your transition color helps to do is just Help whatever eyeshadow or whatever eye look you're doing to just look a little bit more blended. It helps it to give it some graduation. Transition color must always be matte. If you apply a shimmery color, it will look weird. It will look greasy. You don't want that. And I'm using the same blender brush I use on the side of my nose to apply this. the transition color now if you notice that wasn't an, an, an eyeshadow but it's totally fine there are no specific rules when it comes down to a certain part of makeup and that's fine and I love that so now I'm actually going to go in with an illuminating powder now this is used to illuminate your face but it can also be used as the eyeshadow so I want a little bit of shimmer I want a little bit of glow for my eyes today so this is my artist couture by Angel Marino and this is in the shade Pancite or this the brush I'm taking to apply this shade is actually going to be my concealer brush all right now I'm just gonna use this to kind of lightly pack on the powder to my lid area Done with 
that guys I'm literally just gonna move on to liner so guys for liner today I'm using my usual Maybelline eye studio um, gel liner in black as black I'm gonna take the angle lining brush to apply this now I'm not going to do a wing liner today Now, I won't be doing a winged, uh, outer winged liner today, but what I want to do is like a inner wing liner. So it's kind of like a reversed liner kind of thing. So what I'm going to do is take the same angled brush and I'm just going to elongate the liner here on the inner portion at my tear duct area. <laughs> optional guys you don't have to do this inner portion if you don't wish to and that's literally it for the liner I'm gonna apply my lashes but to help you guys out I do have a detailed eyelash tutorial it's linked down below please guys go ahead and check it out all right what I'm using today is the southern mute mink lashes and these are in Daisy okay and they look like this to say you know you don't want any lashes but you know when you put apply those lashes you're like oh my gosh so all right to further blend my natural lashes with the fuzzies I just take my mascara and using the Maybelline New York the fuzzies volume to do so and I'm just gonna be applying the mascara to the base of the lashes We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove, I'm just gonna brush away all the powder we used to bake and I'm using the same powder brush to do this. I'm gonna apply some of my mascara to my lower lashes because I love when my lower lashes pop. It's optional. Now I'm just gonna go for a simple glow today. As a beginner, you do not, a lot of you guys, I know you don't wanna go OD. On your glow so we're gonna go for something realistic so I'm just gonna be taking my Mac mineralized skin finish in gold deposit today which is more suitable for darker complexion girls like myself I'm just gonna use this fan brush from the same set of course use my kabuki brush to just kind of blend everything together so there are no harsh lines the only thing left for us to do is our lips I'm gonna take my NYX lip liner in hot cocoa I'm taking both both of these are from Royal Beauty this is a locally owned brand the two shades that I'm taking are lovely and pretty I'm first gonna apply lovely and then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of pretty guys that's literally it for this beginner makeup tutorial I really hope that this was detailed enough for you guys let me know your thoughts down below and if you enjoyed this tutorial if it helped you out give it a thumb up if y'all are interested in the brushes my code is su70 get $70 get 70% off $70 because it's $100 originally for the set check it out the site and the link to the brushes the specific link to the brushes will be listed down below all the necessary information and all the products that were used for this tutorial will be listed down below so be sure to check out my description box okay guys right down there so check it out yeah so that's basically it for today guys i'll see you guys in my next